Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera Di dalam video kali ini saya ingin berkongsi bersama anda bagaimana kita nak menggunakan command yang dikenali sebagai array okay? Kalau command array itu di dalam 3D solid modeling dia ada home tab okay, home menu tab dan dia under modify modify group dan kalau kita perhatikan dia bentuk seperti ini dia sama je okay, dengan 2D sketches if you still remember kat dalam 2D sketches pun kita ada uh, pernah okay, kita ada pernah menggunakan uh, array ni iaitu uh, rectangular array dan juga full array Di dalam 3D slot modeling ni saya akan fokus kepada dua hanya dua saja, iaitu rectangular array dan juga full array okay. konsep dia sama sama macam tu di sketches ok so kita akan sama tengok sama-sama tengok nanti ok bagaimana uh, penggunaan array ni dalam tu di solid modeling so let, let's get started so I will go with polar array first ok saya akan pergi uh, tujuh pada anda berkenaan polar array terlebih dahulu so I'm going to off my off grid uh, ok green lines and then I'm going to switch to Southwest uh, Isometric View and I need to check my uh, view okay, should be parallel, okay, should be okay okay, now um, let's say I'm going to have a circle here with a diameter, let's say 100mm okay going to shift it a bit here and then I'm going to extrude uh, this circle with uh, height let's say 20mm right and then I'm going to copy this one remember eh, I each time especially drum 3d ni okay I going, I'm going to on my my uh, auto all okay I'm going to on my auto the drum 3d so let me every time Okay, each time you kata you buat satu satu part, okay, like this one, okay. For example, you you just copy, 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 copy one because nanti kalau you ada masalah atau perlu tersilap buat ke, so you don't need to worry to you know to uh, rebuild your part, okay. Karena apa? Karena you can just simply ambil semula, okay, part part yang telah you copy ni tadi, right? Okay, and uh, then next I'm going to create a let's say a hole here. Di mana hole tersebut saya akan buat pada sekeliling ni, sekeliling bulatan pada bahagian dalam ni. So uh, katakan I'm going to create a hole here. Okay, let's say I'm going to use a circle. And definitely kalau I nak create hole di dalam tulis selama ni, I kena buat silinder lah kan. So let's say the, the 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 diameter of the circle let's say 10 mm, 5 10 mm, and then I'm going to extrude this. Tak kita isah ya panjang pun tak apa kerana kita kena make sure that this cylinder mesti lebih tinggi daripada uh, apa cylinder besar ni kan. So I'm going to make somewhere around here. Just click, and then don't forget to just copy this right. later on kalau kita tak guna kita boleh just simply delete alright and then I'm going to uh, move this one from let's say from here the center point of this circle pada bagian bawah ni to this one pada center point pada bahagian bulatan bawah ni dia ada dua eh? satu center point pada bahagian atas dan satu lagi ada center point pada bahagian bawah so we we going to pick the bottom one lah ok alright that. kalau kita uh, rotate sikit kita orbit sikit it should be like that ok should be like that and then uh, kalau saya tengok pada saya nak bergerakkan ke tepi ni pula eh? bahagian tepi ni so it is much more easier for me kalau I pilih top supaya my x, y like this dan uh, kedudukan uh, my 3D solid modeling akan macam ni lah so it's much more easier for me uh, to 
choose top view right and then I'm going to move this uh, cylinder cylinder yang kecil ni yang untuk saya hasilkan lubang ni I'm going to move this okay so you just can pick anywhere outside here yeah? anywhere just pick anywhere okay then but in the, this time you have to make sure uh, the, during this time you have to make sure that your auto must must always be on okay must always be on then you just drag your cursor to here maybe around 40 mm there you are so if you rotate if you rotate there you are okay right so normally come to say check up kalau you still remember uh, i always advise you that kalau kita nak buat lubang kita make sure dia uh, kedudukan silinder ni ke bawah sedikit lah biar dia per, uh, apa ni protruded from this uh, uh, bottom bottom line okay so i'm going to move this one i'm going to move this one just pick anywhere just pick anywhere here click and then again you have to make in this uh during this time you have to make sure auto you know online eh? so just bring it down here just click just click anyway as long as dia hmm, terlebih daripada garisan bawah ni ya eh? terlebih okay, just click all right now we've done with that sekarang ni macam i check up tadi kita nak uh, apa uh re kan dia pada bahagian keliling uh, bulatan dalam ni kerana apa? kerana kita nak masukkan lubang di sini so what we need to do you boleh je buat satu persatu tak ada masalah but uh, it will take longer time lah so sama juga macam tu di sketch kan sebelum ni kita just simply boleh pilih pula array and then they will ask us select object this object that we're going to uh, to array then press enter and then center point we can choose either the top one or the bottom one okay in this case we can choose either top center point or bottom center point so let's say this time i'm going to make it the, i'm going to select the top center point of this circle okay so just pick this one so nampak tak dia punya dialog box of this uh, pola array akan akan terbentuk sama je kan macam to sketch sama je so you can, i'm going to make uh, the fill uh, the angle fill with 360 degree it's just that i'm going to change the uh, number of the items of this hole or of this cylinder instead of 6 i'm going to change it to let's say i'm going to make it 10 tengok macam mana supaya buat 10 ni just click anywhere outside here Okay, try to rotate. Rotate. Okay, I think should be fine. Tengok down top. Okay, I think should be fine. So, I'm going to stick with 10 mm. Kalau you nak buat 180 darjah, macam saya cakap lah. Di dalam tu di sketch pun ada 180 darjah. See like that. Okay. But, for my case, this one, I'm going to make it uh, the field angle with 300 uh, uh, 360 degrees okay so once after confirm this one i'm going to close my array okay now kalau kita te tengok kalau dalam 3d solid model ini kalau kita klik saja sini array dia akan jadi satu group ke semua ke 10 10 cylinder yang telah saya hasilkan tadi kan dia akan become one group so di dalam uh, uh, 3d solid modeling in autocad of course definitely kalau kita nak buat lubang ni kita akan melibatkan penggunaan boolean boolean command which is known as subtract okey betul tak kita akan pilih subtract pasal kita nak sekan lubang pada uh, pada pada bahagian ni okey dengan melibatkan penggunaan silinder ini alright so sebelum kita proceed with this activities which is subtract kita kena explode kan terlebih dahulu okey di dalam uh, array you have to explode this one ok yang yang array ni ok sebelum you memulakan subtract okay, di dalam array alright so uh, you can you can do it by go to here home home menu tab then you go to modify here and ini adalah explode explode pun saya dah 
show to you okay bagaimana kita nak apply kan upload uh, explode ni di dalam uh, beberapa video yang lepas okay so you just go to modify then pick this one explode then they ask us uh, which objects that we going to explode these objects we going that's we going to explode okay we going to explode it uh, become uh, single component it means that each of these uh, uh, cylinder will become as individual components okay so once after you already selected uh, this group of cylinders okay uh, then you just press enter so kalau kita uh, pick try pick each of them they have become they have become independent right So, selepas ni barulah kita boleh uh, uh, proceed with our next activity which is subtract. Okay. So, go to here, click subtract and they will ask us select object. Which object that we're going to maintain? So, this object that we're going to maintain. And don't forget, kalau dalam subtract, kita uh, sebelum kita go to the next activity, kita kena press enter. Okay. Subs press enter and then select object to subtract kita select lah all these okay. all these uh, individual uh, cylinder ok so what's up to your selected just press enter there you are ok so katakan kalau I'm going to uh, add my layer with let's say this color And then I'm going to add a few more, uh, let's say, red color. And let's say this time I'm going to create yellow color. Okay, now. So I'm going to switch this uh, part of component to, let's say, green color. Okay, and then once when I shade it with edges and I rotate this, it will look like that. Okay, so itu katakan kalau you nak buat lubang lah. Okay, so kalau you tak nak buat lubang, kalau you nak uh, union, it will become like this lah. Okay, okay. okay kita try union pula. So I'm going to move. Kita akan guna balik ini swan. Again, uh, with the same step, I'm going to move this cylinder from this center point but this time I tak buat kat bawah lah I buat kat atas pasal kita nak union kan dia kan ha, kita nak union kan dia pula buka subtract click pada center ni and then go to top ok go to top my xy macam ni so I'm going to make sure that my y dekat sini my part x di sini so I'm going to go to here tengok arrow ni kan so pergi ke sini ah, right So now, I'm going again, move this cylinder, enter, make sure your auto on, just pick anywhere, just pick anywhere, and I'm going to move it here to 39.299, okay, I bought 40 lah, sama macam tadi, 40mm, and then, kita just double check, okay, biar dekat atas tu tak apa, alright, so, union, So, we're going to pick polar array, select object, which object they're going to array, this object that I'm going to array, enter, and then definitely I'm going to pick my center point of array at here, okay, and then, there you are, this time I'm going to make it 8mm, let's say for example, and then just click anywhere outside here, and I'm going to rotate to see how, how it looks like, okay. I think it should be okay like this. Okay. And then once confirm, I just close my array. And then again, don't forget, before we proceed with the union, union activity, because this time kita nak join kind of together, not like this. This one kita nak buat lubang, but this time kita nak maintain with this, this uh, shape uh, like this. So we definitely need to union it. But before that, remember we have to explode this group this this circular array group so just click this one then press enter tengok eh dia dah become uh, apa dia dah become single part 
a single part and then we're going to use combine here uh, sorry union union and then set object color union you can just select all and then press enter there you are okay so let's say if i change the layer to red red color or oh, then uh, we go to shader with edges and there you are it looks like that okay okay guys okay uh let us continue uh with uh the array activity katakan i nak tunjuk kepada you sekali lagi okey berkenaan dengan pola array beberapa contoh lah eh, so that you can uh, have a clear picture uh, bagaimana kita nak apply uh, uh, pola array ni di dalam 3D solid modeling in AutoCAD okey so i'm going to switch this to 2D wireframe i nak tengok i on tak okey i'm still recording okay now uh, let's say this time I'm going to create a simple sketch okay katakan I nak buat uh, apa lah contoh hmm, okay tak apa so I'm going to go to top let's go to top and I am just going to I just simply draw okay I just simply draw this one without any dimension okay katakan contoh ni contoh eh that's why I kalau you nak, uh, it's much more better if you can create a uh, sketch with any dimension. Tapi kalau you nak just try it, apa yang dimension pun tak apa. Okay, so let's say this time we're going to make it. I just simply draw, okay, just simply like this. Uh, like this. And then I'm going to off, sekejap my, apa, my ortho. To make sure it's become like that. That and then let's see like this and I'm going to on again my auto okay and then I'm going to close this profile and then I'm going to join all this together become one right and then I'm going to remove this okay, this sketch I'm going to remove it with 360 degrees oh dia macam ni pula tak apa kita boleh rotate dia naik ke atas ok then now I'm going to bring tengok tu tu lah I'm going to bring my uh, I nak lukis ni semuanya semula ok uh, before that I'm going to change this to let's say yellow yellow color all right um, at the point i'm going to create another one more layers and this time i'm going to have some sort of light might probably this color okay and then i'm going to change it to this layer i'm going to create it this morning i not bought chess lah ha, sebenarnya castle chess lebih kurang lah eh chest castle dia kan dia dekat bahagian atas ni saya nak buat dia punya ni dengan menggunakan uh, pola array lah dia punya apa bahagian top dia ni kan alright so before that if I would like to create it over here my position of use as uh, need to be changed whereby my xy should be here right should be here ok uh, it means that my xy should be at uh, sebelum tu just change this one make sure previous okay my position should be at the back okay but the back I'm back my xy position so I'm going to change to back see how okay should be like that and then I'm going to you remember I have already check out dalam 3D solid modeling kalau dia melibatkan cylinder bulatan whatever okay it is much more better kita bawa uh, origin ni ke titik pusat yang kita nak uh, proceed with the next activity so I'm going to pick this one dalam previous video I dah tunjukkan ni origin and then I'm going to bring it at this pada bagian luar sekali ni okay? circle, circle pada bagian luar ni so I'm going to pick that, that origin over here ok now I'm going to proceed with uh, 
circle let's see I'm going to again my starting point of circle is at the center of the circle kalau tak nampak besarkan sikit tengok ok this one ok kalau tak wujud juga you just keluarkan ni ok dan center ok like that kalau you bawa, nak bawa ke sini dia tak 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 nampak kan you just click here buat buka klik bawa je dulu ke sayu ke bahagian parameter luar bulatan ni ok just bring and then click je klik je alright nampak klik je so dia akan automatic tetapi you kena make sure you have to make sure that kita okay, akan scroll balik you have to make sure that dia dah pilih uh, simbol bulatan hijau tu tak keluar kan kat sini kan so kalau tak keluar kalau dia hanya tunjuk plus sign kecil itu belum lagi ok dia belum lagi keluar bermaksud dia belum pilih lagi ok dia uh, kita punya cursor ni boleh select lagi circle kat sini kan dia just baru tunjuk tanda positif small positif tu kan ha, belum lagi dia kena ada simbol snap bulatan hijau warna hijau so kalau tak keluar again shift button hold that shift button then press uh, right click of your mouse untuk keluarkan di sini you, you still remember ni kan dah tunjuk sebelum ni so press center ha, nampak kalau you nak bawa ke dekat tak, tak keluar dia pergi ke belakang kan kita bukan nak belakang kita nak ke depan ni so kalau tak keluar juga just bring your cursor to this perimeter of the outer circle pasal kita nak dapatkan center point perimeter apa circle bulat di luar ni kan so you just need to bring ya. okay, kalau dah keluar nampak hijau tu kan kalau you perhatikan ya, pada origin ni pada origin ni ya, uh, dah ada hijau snap uh, apa symbol for the center point of this uh, outer circle ni uh, bau you boleh just click uh, ok automatic lagi ni so now I'm going to make it uh, sama size dengan ni ok I just bring it to the quadrant ok now I want to show you to you another one more uh, simple command which is kita let's say katakan kita nak proceed with our sketch activities di sini so I'm going to off this I nak, I nak hide kan hide, I nak hide kan yang yang this one yang tadi I buat ni yang ni ok 3D so I'm going to hide this so you can just need to bring your cursor here expand this ni layer 4 tu tak yang layer 4 ni yang ni tadi yang this one I already change to layer 4 so you just go to layer 4 dan you nampak tak main tool ni ok main tool ni just off nampak right then there you are you can proceed with this activity tetapi guys let's see if kalau you nak kalau you nak on eh, nampak eh dia, kalau you perhatikan main tool dia pun akan kelabu ok dia akan macam kelabu dia tak 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 on macam ni warna kuning ok kalau kuning ni maksud dia on kalau kelabu macam ni ok maksud dia tengah off lah lagi kalau nak on balik terus just click this one ok ok guys di dalam case ini sekiranya you nak off kan ni ok you, bukan you nak off you nak hide kan lah ya, hide kan dia you tak layer you tak boleh current macam ni tak boleh current ok kenapa bila you 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 your, your current layer is this one kalau you click this one Okay, yang ni kan yang ni kan, kan kalau you go to here you nak off kan dia dia tak boleh what do you want to do keep the current layer on atau dia macam akan ada problem di sini lah kalau you just keep current layer on ataupun oh, sorry kalau you just keep current layer off dia akan tanya turn off the layer off ok dia so sebenarnya is quite troublesome as well so make sure dia biar by default di sini lah Okay, and then kalau you nak on, you off di sini. It doesn't matter lah, tetapi sometimes dia tak boleh eh, dia tak boleh, tak boleh, tak boleh on. Sometimes, okay, katakan you tengok on ni kan, kalau you <coughs> expand this, if you off, <coughs> if you try to off, sometimes dia akan cakap tak boleh. Tak boleh, but for this case, should be okay, no problem eh. Sometimes tak boleh. I faced this experience before. So, it is much more better, katakan kalau you nak off that particular area, let's say, for example, like this one, I nak off this one. So, make sure current layer, jangan what, jangan layer hijau. Kalau macam current layer ni, tak apa. So, you can just simply go to here and off, off it, like that. Merah pun sama, off it. Okay, because apa? Because current layer kita bukannya warna hijau, bukannya warna merah yang kita nak hide kan dia punya, kita punya part tadi, okay. So, kalau kita nak on, kita on kan balik. So, I kalau apa-apa, I just make sure my current layer biar kosong. 
later on uh, baru I select then change to the layer later on bila I dah siap part so my current layer normally I akan make sure the default zero zero layer ni adalah default layer normally lah ok so now uh, let's proceed to with this one so I'm going to off uh, or hide this and then, then now I can proceed with this one so kata I'm going to go to top much more easier for me to play around with this one and let's see katakan since ini tak ada dimension kan I just make agak-agak je ok let's see katakan I'm going to make it macam uh, itulah ok eh itulah. then I'm going to create a line here dia tak keluar lah dia ni ok ok ada so let's see I'm going to off my Orto, so let's see katakan katakan buat adalah on balik buat center point center line kat line dulu and let's see I'm going to make a line here then I'm going to off this time I'm going to off let's see somewhere around here okay yeah I just buat je kalau you it is much more better kalau you ada certain angle lah eh. then and then I'm going to mirror this <coughs> this line from here to here and now oops sorry this line enter from here to here no and then I'm going to trim all those lines that I don't want I don't want this line 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 and this line I can just simply delete okay I just can simply delete and then oh, don't forget to don't forget to join all this line enter okay now I'm going to change back to uh, my isometric view okay and uh, okay all right and now you can just simply extrude this Let's I'm going to extrude this. Kalau kita nak onkan balik layer kita ni pun okay. Part kita ni. And then I'm going to extrude this. This sketch yang baru saya buat. Enter. With a let's say certain height. Let's say this one. Okay. Personal. I just buat je lah. Tanpa without any dimension. And then now this is time for us. Kita nak array, circular array this one kat bagian keliling ni kan. So definitely we can just simply pick polar array. Then select object. This object that we're going to do the polar array. Press enter. Then then ask us the center point. Center point should be here lah kan. Bulatan pada uh, ni. Okay tengah ni. Then kalau tak keluar lagi. Okay semua dah. Okay kalau dah keluar tak. Dah keluar should be okay. Kalau tak keluar kita buat macam tadi juga. Go to center, bring here, kalau tak keluar, just go to here, just go to jangan klik, bring to discuss, uh, pada perimeter bulatan luar ni, and then kalau dah keluar je, okay, once play dah keluar je semua, just per click, okay, so kalau kita rotate, we use like that, kata kata buat 5, nampak sangat lah, lubang ni nampak sangat, kata buat 5, enter, I think should be fine this one, okay, so once confirm, just, Click close close array. Alright, okay. Now kita nak union this and this together. So remember, kita kena explode kan dulu this group, this array group. Okay, so we going to explode this. Uh, going to explode this. Enter. Okay, check. Okay, confirm. You will you already uh, convert to uh, single components, and now we're going to join it together by using union union command. Just select all, then press enter. There you are. Okay, kalau they change back to one white, just select this and go back to layer four. All right. So if let's say katakan kalau kita um, switch to the shadow edges. Ah, uh, okay. Ini yang simple punya bentuk castle lah. Okay, then you can apply lah apa? 
ada part kata kayu nak buat chamfer kat sini tu kan ke okey chamfer asyik okey asyik uh, fillet je so this time uh, kita try play around with chamfer pula let's um, itu tengok chamfer berapa eh oh pasal saya tak letak dimension ni tak letak dua tengok dulu macam mana okey dan distance number 1 tu distance number 2 pun uh, distance number 2 pun kita buat 2 mm Entah, tengok macam mana oh kecil sangat rasa kan I'm going to make it 5 lah 5 mm so my distance press distance ke distance 1 5 mm enter distance 2 also 5 mm ok 5 mm then enter ok there you are I think should be fine ok so in this one for this one in this case Uh, kalau you click this one tak boleh kan kalau tak boleh so you mesti you have to do it one by one kita okay, apa so kita settlekan yang bagian ni dulu so once after you confirm this press enter belum keluar lagi kita press enter one more time ok what you need to do is that you tak payah lagi pergi ke sini you just need to press enter what if you still remember kalau you press enter sekali lagi selepas baik saja you hasilkan activity chamfer ni bermaksud kalau kita press enter sekarang ni ok, I press enter now eh press enter bermaksud dia akan recall the most last command iaitu chamfer yang mana distance dia tadi tu 5-5 so kita tak payah pergi lagi dah distance ni pilih 5, distance 1, distance 2 pun 5mm tak perlu kenapa? kerana dia akan exactly dia akan recall balik the last the last previous command dengan value-value dia so our last previous command tadi tu chamfer with Distance 1 and distance 2, um, so kita just per, need to press enter once sekali, sekali, sekali saja. So, click here, click here, dan press enter, belum keluar lagi. Kita kena exit dulu terlebih dahulu, enter. Uh, lepas tu dah keluar kan, nak, uh, nak repeat tadi command, last command chamfer tadi V5, um, distance 1 and distance 2, just press enter. Then, nampak? Okay, tak payah pergi distance, distance yang lagi dah. Eh. Just straight away, pick this one, enter, then enter enter again so that's why you, that time uh, uh, during this time you kena refer pada command line lah okay. i put this kit this one enter enter then press enter one more time this one and this one enter enter there you are so settle so i'm going to switch this to to the uh, shade of edges so you become like that okay alright ada kata katakan kalau you nak apply fillet nak juga apply fillet okey tak apa no problem so kita just uh, go with fillet and let's say my radius I'm going to make it 3mm enter so katakan I nak apply dia di sini dengan di sini with here di sini kita ada, ada fillet sikit lah 3mm then once after confirm press enter then enter one more time there you are So kalau let's say we switch to share realistic, it looks like that. Okay guys. Okay. So I think uh, for the timing, uh, that's all about the array. The okay. Ini saya terlupa tadi ya di dalam bentuk macam kita nak tegakkan dia. So the fact that we need to rotate lah kan. So kalau kita nak rotate ke sini paksi Z kita kena oh, sebelum tu kita kena make sure lepas kita selesai ni you remember previous 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 okay previous 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 okay now I, I nak rotate kan ni di bahagian sini so kalau I nak rotate kan ke atas sini so I need to make sure that my paksi Z should be facing left okay so I'm going to oh, sorry kat right, sini sini left like that uh, baru dia boleh pusing sini so I'm going to just simply rotate click rotate this one I'm going to rotate enter and then katakan I'm going to pick it here then I'm going to rotate it I'm going to on my auto senang lah ha, macam ni kan I just bring my cursor down here then pick here then previous ok so if I realistic or shaded yeah, okay, so it will become like that 
Hey guys, so I think that's all about the uh, array, polar array in uh, traditional modeling in AutoCAD. So uh, I'm going to proceed uh, uh, rectangularly in uh, our next video. So for the time being, hopefully that you understand how we're going to apply or play around the polar array in AutoCAD. Okay, in dalam traditional modeling lah, di dalam AutoCAD. So you can even kata kalau you nak buat uh, let's say kipas kan with a straight bleed okay kan so bleed kipas tu nanti you boleh you boleh array kan there are a lot, lot of things you can do with this polar array so so it's not necessary for you nanti nak buat satu satu ada boleh juga method tu okay macam ni tadi kan you boleh buat create satu 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 satu, satu. it doesn't matter but uh, it will take longer time lah in order to you know complete that particular part ataupun that particular shape okay guys so hopefully that you try out with this command thank you for your attention and i will see you in our next video about the rectangular array thank you very much